What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with Data Driven Design and thanks for watching another edition of the WordPress Show. Today we're going to talk about installing WooCommerce. Now, installing WooCommerce is generally very easy. You just follow the setup process after you upload the plugin and activate the plugin. However, they have added several steps to the process and you can see here that now instead of just the basic store setup information, there's all this other information. They want you to set up your payment gateway. They want you to set up your shipping. They want you to set up uh, your jetpack. They want you to set up everything related to shipping taxes they want you to set up. Um, and they want you to create a product all at once. Well, sometimes you just want to install WooCommerce and come back and do this later. So if you skip the setup process and return to your dashboard, basically what happens is it doesn't always put in the required pages. The required pages are obviously the cart page, the checkout page, the account page. Terms and conditions is optional, but you should have a terms and conditions page. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is actually go in and make sure that you have these pages accounted for if you skip the WooCommerce setup process. And then you're testing your WooCommerce store and you're getting an error when you try to add an item to your cart. Because if you do the setup process, it's going to actually physically create these pages for you and make sure that they're in your WooCommerce settings. Um, but if you skip the setup process, all you need to do is manually create pages called cart, checkout, and my account, and then go into WooCommerce settings and advanced, and then attribute those pages of your website to the cart, checkout, and account page that you created. So this is pretty simple to do. It can be a little bit scary though if you skip the WooCommerce setup process and you're like, oh no, I just added an item to my cart and I got this error page. Just go to WooCommerce settings and attribute the page you create to the cart and then it'll magically appear as your cart page in WooCommerce. Thanks for watching the WordPress show. I'm Paul Hickey of Data Driven Design. For more WordPress tips, go to datadriven.design, or if you want to do business with me, email me directly at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks, and have a great day.